All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. And today we're playing with the final character that I have not yet learned in Mortal Kombat 1, which is the girl Tanya, responsible for one of the most brutal fatals in MKX and one of the funniest story endings in Mortal Kombat 4, just in, in Mortal Kombat history. <laughs> Katana saw in you. Can't you see, Liu Kang? This is a trap. Welcome, Shaolin Warrior. Your Thunder God is beaten. Earth's warriors destroyed. You are the last remnants of the forces of light. Do you wish to beg for mercy from your new master, the Lord Shinnok? Never, sorcerer! <laughs> Fool. <laughs> That ending with Liu Kang going, woo, and just getting absolutely destroyed after Tanya uh, pretty much led him to an ambush. It's amazing. And equally amazing is the fact that Tanya and Goro are one of the best teams in the game. This team right here makes you feel invincible at times because you have a meter in your back pocket. And, well, you guys have probably seen this team a million times, but this was the easiest team for me to learn with Tanya. Um, but she's pretty, e an, she's an easy character to learn. So once I play my, uh, like, two, three videos with Goro and Tanya, then I'll move on to a different cameo. But for now, leave a like rating on the video for finally learning the girl Tanya. Let's do this. All right, so first match with Tanya. Let's see what we could do. Man, it feels weird because I recently just built a chair that was gifted to me for Christmas by my brother and my mom, and it's really tall. It's like way taller than. Uh, yeah, let's play at nighttime. Why not? It's way taller than my other chair was. Whatever it takes. So it feels really weird. Like my hand and my control is so close to my table. I hope I don't hit it. Who does he have? Chameleon? Oh god! The wake up with Molina already. Oh shit. Down one into Katana. Interesting. Oh my god, okay. This guy's crazy. Nice. I could do that too, you know why? Because I have Goro to back me up. Well, I actually did not have Goro in that situation though. <laughs> I had to be careful. Ah! It was too close to the uh, the edge of the screen right there. Gonna fly with Katana, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, that's his round. So this guy's gonna do like down one into his cameo like all the time. Final round. Fight. I could do that too. I could do down one, down four into cameo. I could do a drill from full screen. Ah, oh, damn it, no anti air. Yeah, I'm gonna let it rock because I have a lot of meter. I need my meter for guess what? Meter burn reversal, guys. Meter burn reversal is gonna allow me to do, to go through what he wants to do. Oh god, not like that though. There you go, like that. <laughs> 
see, that's why I didn't break. I, I'm sure that a lot of you guys were saying, Come on, Super, why the hell didn't you break in that situation? You're gonna take a lot of damage, by the way. Look at that. That's no lie. That was my very first match playing with Tanya where I actually picked her. I have gotten her in random character select once, which is... I And I think I might have won with her once, which is the reason why I had like a tiny bit of points. But other than that, first time playing Tanya. But this team... This team I've lost against so many times. So I know how annoying it is. I know how good they are. And now I'm taking advantage of that. Who are we going to go up against a Havoc player? Tony. I like this guy's name. is It's just Paul. He wants to make sure that you know that he has no other name. Just Paul. He is the Paul. Havoc. It's just Boy. Paul 305. Serena. All right. Serena and Havoc. Oh, well, I, I will say that Serena that works well with pretty much any character. Only to my enemies, She's definitely going to give Havoc a lot of damage. That's for sure. That's her thing. Scorpion and Havoc and Serena are the characters, the combo characters in this game. Have combo cameos that will give you a lot of damage. Fight. Ah, shit. I'm doing things too early with her. Overhead. That's right. Ooh, hello. Hello, armor break. Tanya, using that baton. Oh, was that a punish? I don't think it was. Yeah, now I know that I learned how to play Tanya that you, uh, that's a high. Ah, no anti-air. Yeah, I was I was testing out Tanya's anti-airs in training mode, and it doesn't seem like her stand one is that good of an anti-air. So, I'm gonna either have to down two or up block. Shit. Oh, escape failed. Threw me to the other side. This is gonna put me real close. This is gonna put me real close. This is gonna do about 45%, 44%, somewhere around there. Maybe? Yeah, about that. Shit, that was a... Got him. And that is one of the best things about Tanya and Goro. Full screen drill conversion. You have to watch your feet. You have to watch your toes. You have to watch your kneecaps when Tanya and Goro are on screen or on, are on the same team because full screen drill, ladies and gentlemen. Full screen drill into the Goro conversion to clutch it out. Damn, I should have just done it from the start, but it's kind of hard to avoid that once you're full screen. Oh, wow. Damn it. Fuck. I gotta remember, I don't really need a dash in a situation like that. Yeah, I pressed the button because I was down on life already. I'm like, why am I gonna take the punishment on block? He's just gonna get meter. Fuck. 
spot right when I was gonna backdash. That was in range, I can't believe that shit. What? Dude, did I press one too many buttons or what? Oh my god. I'm pressing one too many buttons, that's the thing. I'm not used to pressing forward two one one. That's why I messed up the other time too. Fight. Oh wow! That actually still reached him? Fuck. I messed up trying to do that stand three. Stand three only from like full, full range. See right there, I pressed one too many buttons again. Shit. Attack the wrong way. Alright, pretty much same situation as before, but same same result as before. It's only going to do 44%, so it's not going to finish it, but at least Goro's recovering right now. Oh, fuck! Damn, that chipped me out. Wow, good shit. That chipped me out. Uh, I should have just... You know what I should have done right there? But, like, I'm not used to playing this team. I should have just mashed my, my armor attack. When he did back two, and then he went in for the grab, I should just mash my armor attack. And by the way, I'm only going to start teching back throw now. Because it seems like back throw is the only throw that sets up the meter drain for him. Ah, I was hoping that to catch him in time, but nope. It's hard to get rid of that. Projectile. Fuck, man. That back two from Havoc is deceptively far reaching. Fuck. Ooh, still reached him in time, nice. Gotta go for a lot of throws because Tanya doesn't have a lot of mix-ups. Oh, good call on that. Shit. 
Nice. There you go. That's how you play Tanya right there. Final round. Fight. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't let go of block soon enough. Oh, I didn't think that I was going to be able to convert that, honestly. Should have guarded that. Ah, I forgot the fucking... The back throw. Alright, there you go. Woo. Come on, Tanya. One thing that I hate about using my controller is something that I've noticed more so in Mortal Kombat 1 that I've been doing recently is I've been like accidentally tapping on my analog stick and for some reason that stops my combos. Because the dialogue combos in Mortal Kombat 1, if you press one button too many, it completely stops a combo. So you can't do anything after that. So I've been noticing that there's some times where I finish my combo and I don't intend to. Oh, I wonder what he tried to do right there. Uh, I'm definitely taking all his damage, all the damage that I can. Nice. That was a great round right there. Got the touches. Round two. Fight. Oh, shit. Gotta let go of block for a little bit longer than that. Yeah, her uh her anti-air isn't the best. That's a good Havoc round right there, and he drained a lot of my meter, too. Ooh. Oh, you know what I wanted to do right there. I didn't get my back forward for drill. That's some bullshit. All right, unfortunately, Goro is out of business for a while. Back throws. Didn't I? Didn't I just say only back throws? And I did take that throw. For some reason, I didn't fucking get it though. Oh my god, man! Is that it? I can't believe I fucking. Oh man. I want her to get something I didn't get. I want her to do down one into armor attack. I cannot believe this guy fucked up even more than I did. Wow. I can't believe that. So before, uh, when I was in the corner, I wanted to do down one into uh, 
into my cartwheel, right? But I was too far away. So then he ended up grabbing me. I lost a shit ton of meter. And then he fucked up worse than I did. Wow. I can't believe how lucky I got right there. I had I had like 0.7% or I had like 7 point something percent. That was nuts, man. Oh, that doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it does, but... Fucked up the forward four. I still want to change up the combo a little bit. Only back throws. There you go. Only back throws. Tanya gets a lot of meter because she hits people a lot on block. That's where she gets a lot of her meter from. That was supposed to be a teleport. Ah, shouldn't have done that. A bit too much autopilot right there. I don't mind that throw at all. Whoops. Aw, oh, come on. I know I tech that throw. I was literally expecting that shit. I don't think this is going to do it because I started off a meter burn reversal, but it should give me the life lead. There's only 18 seconds left on the clock, so yeah, it's going to give me the life lead by a little bit. But the bad thing is, I don't have any meter left. Alright, I had to do something, right? <laughs> I had to do something. Taking a page from my Mortal Kombat X experience, you do down four, down three, into Goro Punch Walk all day, baby. In Mortal Kombat X, you do down four into punch walk all day because it's safe on block. So I had it on deck. It seems like Tanya's good poke is down three, at least a far ranger one. So that's what I got to use more of instead of using my down one. All right, use Goro a little bit there. Oh, right when I was going to press a button. Ah. I was a little bit too slow with it. Oh, see, now he forward threw me. Too smart. Woo! That shit still hit me? Damn, I was hoping that maybe I would catch the uh, the heart before it came out. Oh!
Oh shit, I walked into that. I wasn't prepared for that grab. See, I didn't take that one. I will, I will not lie to you guys. I will not lie to you guys. I did not take the other throw. That was a forward throw. I messed up with trying to go for a different combo right there. <gasps> oh, the anti-air. The anti-air, guys. The anti-air fucked me up. Damn it. Alright, should we play last match? Last match, or is he done? Alright. We'll play last match, last match. Win or lose. I was hoping to, you know, potentially get a stand three into teleport into a extended combo. That was the only way that I was going to be able to finish off that match. Round one. Fight. Oh, just outside the range. Oh, good jump. Wow. If I would have done anything else other than that, it would have caught him. Nice extended combo there. There you go. Trip guard, trip guard, trip guard. Was just outside the range of that foot, too. I'm just gonna block right now. Okay. I thought that he might do his. Uh... Thought that was gonna be a throw. Just caught him in time, too. Catch him, catch him on that. Fuck. Was just out of range of that. This is a good fatal blow by him. It was a nice uh, walk back. Or what was it, dash back? This is actually going to give him the lead, right? That shit did it? It finished me off? I didn't think it would finish me off, honestly. Fuck, I tried to block like last second. That's just fast. Damn it! Fucking punish. This should do it as long as I don't drop the combo. He has 0 0.1 left, guys. Oh fuck. Oh 
shit! I'm gonna get meter soon. Oh, fuck me. No, he almost, he, I was so scared that he was gonna bring it back, guys. I was so scared, that, that would have been the biggest choke of my life. <laughs> As soon as he jumped, it's all over because I, ha I obviously I had plenty of life to absorb any hit that he had coming my way. Uh, but GG's, man. That was a fun set. Woo! All right. So my first video with Tanya was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the fact that at any point I could do my meter burn reversal and it's completely safe on block and I could also launch you for about a 25% combo is... It feels really good to have that in your back pocket. I'm not going to lie. Um, some of the combo conversions off stand three on your uh, teleport, they feel really good to hit. So I enjoyed it. That's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.